Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop. My name is Blake. Today we have a really exciting news uh, from Texas that happened yesterday. Um, there was a uh, committee uh, briefing um, about Hyperloop certification facility um, about the Dallas-Fort Worth region to an anticipated request for proposal for a Hyperloop certification facility by Virgin Hyperloop One. Um, they're going to, perhaps in the future, request a partnership with a local entity to develop a certification facility for the tech. Uh, staff will engage the Greater Dallas Chamber to address non-certification requirements um, and the Regional Transportation Council will retain presentations of the certification track locations. Um, so this is really big news. Um, this kind of came out of nowhere. Um, we haven't heard of any other certification facilities in the United States being considered, so it's nice to see North Central Texas uh, working hard uh, to uh, kind of get the scoop. Um, this is their PowerPoint that they presented. We see a four-phased approach um, in timing with, you know, first a 1.5 kilometer straight section, then a 3.5 to 5 kilometer section, and then a 6 to 8 kilometer section. And depending on the phase, uh, the number of vacuum buildings that are needed in the eventual full length test track, which is about nine miles perhaps, will be two, and you'll need just one tube, basically. But um, they also presented what a more fully built out would look like with two different tubes, um, and there's a 16 uh, to 18 foot clearance over a roadway, which I found kind of interesting. Um, the whole thing would be around 29.5 feet uh, tall, or it's hard to know actually. Um, but the tube diameter is five meters, 16.4 feet. So um, this is what's really interesting. Uh, they also presented a presented a another concept of having an autonomous vehicle or roadway in the center um, of the two tubes. So this would provide um, autonomous vehicles a uh, nonstop uh, travel um, that's elevated. Of course, it would be again 16 feet or taller above the roadway. Um, it would be a 28 foot section of roadway. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just really fascinating. So we, uh, this is the actual kind of summary of somebody taking notes during the presentation. Um, Michael Harris provided status reports on Virgin Hyperloop One and high-speed rail activities around the region. He highlighted ver recent Virgin Hyperloop One roadshow event at Texas A&M, um, including meetings with private sector, public sector, and STEM outreach. Uh, he also discussed potential interest in having a Hyperloop technology certification track in the region and possible locations of that track. Um, blah, blah, blah. And staff is focused on the three station concept that would provide access to Arlington Entertainment District as well as two air passenger airports, potential north-south facilities that could be used for a certification track include the area from Arlington Entertainment District to the airport and former Naval Station between Dallas and Fort Worth. Certification track will be built in four phases with the eventual track being eight to nine miles long. The certification of phase one and two um, will need environmental review and they would like that um, to start by summer 2020. The region could uh, should know um, if Hyperloop or high-speed rail um, would be the choice of this corridor. He discussed upcoming procurements um, for consultants assistance to complete the environmental document within two years or less. Um, in addition, Mr. Morris provided an update on high-speed rail facilities um, that could potentially go to Monterey, Mexico. There may be consideration for two types of technology within the corridor. A hybrid cross-section of potential elevated facility was shown with a hyperloop on the outside and the next generation people movers or autonomous transfer vehicle technology in the center. Certification track options are being reviewed that start off at one mile and then go on to eight miles and then an autonomous vehicle in the middle to develop some economies of scale. If the region is not awarded the proposal for a certification track or if it chooses to build a certification track that does not have the option of technology in the center track, then a lighter structure should be used. Um, he noted more time would be spent with members of the council 
regarding the certification track and that work session or subcommittee may be needed to be scheduled. So the region is prepared once a request for proposal is released uh, for a certification track. Um, and yeah, it was just really exciting. I think we're seeing a lot of excitement um, with the road show in that these could be the cities that the road show, Virgin Hyper the road show uh, visits could be the actual, um, uh, you know, high speed uh, certification track uh, cities. Um, then uh, we heard about this new story from WFAA and Channel 8, current passes through it. and we're just going to watch the video. Electromagnets to propel passenger capsules faster than planes fly through the air. Three, two, one, fire. These images show trial runs at Virgin's test site in Nevada. Now the company wants to bring the real deal here to the Lone Star State. Uh, they have written a letter to the governor. The Regional Transportation Council discussed this futuristic tech at its meeting Thursday in Arlington, anticipating Virgin mm. Hyperloop One will request a partnership to build a certification facility here. We are going through a process to see where in our region uh, may be locations. It's all still in the early stages, but if meetings like this one greenlight the project, a trip through Texas might never be the same. Let's say you need to get from DFW to Laredo. Driving would take you about seven hours. Flying is about an hour and a half. But check this out. Virgin's Hyperloop One technology promises to get you there in 42 minutes. It's exciting that Hyperloop has identified North Texas as one of the areas that they are considering doing the first Hyperloop in the United States. The futuristic project still has to pass present day hurdles, but the company says if Hyperloop becomes a reality here, it could change the face of Texas travel for generations to come. In Arlington, I'm Eric Alvarez. So that's really cool. Um, thank you, Eric, for uh, attending that committee meeting. Um, and yeah, we're gonna keep track of this and see uh, what else happens in regards to this feasibility in Texas. So stay in the Hyperloop.